Welcome to the A Better Life Show with Life Coach Casey Eggleston. Today we are very excited. We have a very special show for you today. Today on our show, we have Dwayne Malone with the Rescue Me Project. We also have Michelle Rupay Eubanks, newly elected City Councilwoman, District 4, Florence, Alabama. We also have special music by Ms. Ruby Tiggs and Melissa Johnson Bailey from The Healing Place. So let's jump right into our show. We are very excited and got some very uh, good speakers and guest people here today. But before we do, we have some announcements that we do want to announce. The Battle Life Show on December the 10th will be at the Florence Coliseum at 5 p.m. for the Distinguished Young Men Showcase and Teen Show. It will start at 5 p.m. Also, at 6.30 is the Kids Fashion Show, and then immediately afterwards, at 7.30 is the Kids Christmas Prom. Uh, you still have time to join if you would like for your child to be in the Fashion Show. There will be a rehearsal this Sunday at 6 p.m. at the BCM, the Baptist Campus Ministry located at the University of North Alabama at 6 p.m. this Sunday. If you would like for your child to be in the fashion shows, open to the community. Also, uh, tickets are on sale now for, for a donation of $5. Uh, proceeds go to the Distinguished Young Men uh, Service Project. And the Christmas prom, once again, is at 7.30 p.m. Um, at the Florence Coliseum. And today we're going to announce some of the distinguished young men, and then on our next show we'll announce the rest of them. But some of the young men from area high schools that have been nominated by their teachers or counselors uh, for doing outstanding. Here are a few of some of the nominees uh, that will be honored as distinguished young men for 2016. Andrew Beckwith III, he is a 12th grader at Muscle Shoals High School. Travell Cole is 11th grader at Muscle Shoals High School. Also, Matthew Rainey, he's a 12th grader at Brooks High School. Lake Spurgeon, Spurgeon, he is a 10th grader at Brooks High School. Jay Almond is a 12th grader at Carver County High School. Melcher Satcher Jr. is a 10th grader at Carver County High School. Jeremy Dalton Beavis is 11th grader at Central High School. Kevin Brown, 11th grader at Lauderdale County High School. Clint Newton, a 12th grader at Lauderdale County High School. Matthew Harbin, a 12th grader at Lauderdale County High School. Kendrick Smith, a 12th grader at Carver County High School. Zachary Maskin, a 11th grader at Muscle Shoals High School. Kobe McCoy, a 11th grader at Carver County High School. Andrew Mitchell, a 12th grader at Florence High School. Noel Wagnon, a 12th grader at Florence High School. John Daniel Strong, a 12th grader at Florence High School. Quinn Raymond, a 12th grader at Florence High School. Malik Hunt, a 12th grader at Carver County High School. Jamari Woods, a 12th grader at Carver County High School. Everett Lane Williams, a 11th grader at, 11th grader at Lexington High School. These are a few of the first uh, group of young men that will be honored. But make sure you tune in next month where we will show highlights of it and also have the second group of young men that will be honored at the Distinguished Young Men Showcase. So we have a very awesome show that's going to be that night. We're very proud of these young men from our community for their outstanding, uh, many of our athletes, uh, national uh, merit finalists, um, have received scholarships, so we're very proud of these young men, and they will be part of the 2016 Distinguished Young Men Showcase. So we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with our first guest, Mr. Dwayne Malone. And we're back with the A Better Life Show with Life Coach Casey Eggleston. And as I said earlier, today our guest is Dwayne Malone. He's with Motivating Visions with a Purpose. Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. If you would tell us about your organization. Uh, Motivating Vision with a Purpose is a ministry that God blessed me with. Mm -hmm. um, life experiences, uh, uh, things I've encountered in life and uh, triumphs and God allowed me to be able to overcome them and, mm -hmm. and doing so uh, that's when I found my purpose so Good. I understand now that I must motivate others to find their purpose and in doing that uh, we created an organization which is entitled Motivating Vision with a Purpose 
in that uh, in that organization we have different programs such as uh, mm -hmm. the Rescue Me Project. And the Rescue Me Project is a, a team of uh, some of the community leaders. Uh, we go to different schools, churches, and facilities uh, talking about bullying and drug awareness and mm -hmm. addictions and uh, anger management, suicide, just a lot of different things. And, um, you know, we just, we just enjoy doing that because we definitely want to create the change that God has allowed for us in our own personal lives. So. Hey man, I saw a clip of that when you all was at, I think, Muscle Shows uh, School working with the kids, yes, and uh, it was very good. Yes, sir. Very good. I also want to congratulate you on your new, uh, the Jump Place. Yes, sir. Can you tell us a little about that? Yes, sir. Uh, we have uh, what we call the Jump uh, mm -hmm. Juvenile Uplifting Mentor Project. And uh, what that is, is like I was saying, is we travel and go to different schools and facilities. Uh, we encounter a lot of kids, and when we talk to them and we keep them motivated mm -hmm. and everything of that nature, uh, they're feeling good, they won't change, they come to us and they tell us how they were impacted, but of course, you know, after a while, that'll vanish away, they Correct. have to go back to the same situation, whatever that, that is that that may be. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we came together and decided, you know what, we would like to have a place to refer them to, okay. and this is what we call uh, the JUMP, the, the Juvenile Mentoring Program. Now this facility is located on uh, 1300 John R Street, right here in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Okay. And uh, we we uh, we accept uh, 15 students uh, on our first quarter, which lasts six months, mm -hmm. and then we'll recruit the rest. And we already have a waiting list. Thank wow. God. Amen. Thank God. And uh, we have a uh, we assign each uh, mentee a mentor and um, the mentor work with them, and then we also offer a great curriculum dealing with the different issues or whatever it is that they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a, a counselor on board. Okay. A counselor that's a volunteer. She's worked with them along with the mentors, and it's just an awesome uh, experience within itself and uh, great partners. We had to, we had to speak on our uh, community uh, partners, uh, mm -hmm. Lone Lewis Foundation has been doing a great job as well. Amen. Well, listen, and the program has just been awesome. Very know? good, very good. I know y'all are making an impact and it's so much needed because young people go through so much. Uh, if we have some young people that are watching who are going through some problems or different things, what would you say this morning to encourage them or motivate them? Um, my word uh, to you would be uh, don't give up, don't quit. And uh, every morning that you wake up, no matter what the situation is, no matter what you're going through, uh, just realize that it could be worse. It could be worse. And that's one thing that I live by every day. And uh, I think the, the, the thing that you must realize, no matter what anyone says about you do to try to discourage you, uh, you know, their opinion does not become your reality unless you say so. I mean, there's another alternative for you. And you just have to believe that know your worth and uh, we're available for you you know that's that's our purpose so. very good so if there is a parent or a student that need to get in contact with you how do how would they contact you uh, you can go to our website at www.therescuebeproject.com and uh, it's all of our contact information and, and we're available you know just give us a contact but once again, thank you so much, Dwayne Malone, for all the services that you do. Yes, and thank you for being on The Better Life with Life Coach Casey Exxon's show. I thank you for the opportunity. Oh, you're welcome. And we'll be back after this short commercial. And we're back with A Better Life with Life Coach Casey Agustin. We have Michelle Roop Eubanks. She's the newly elected City Council Woman District 4. Correct, yes. Very good. First of all, congratulations. Thank you, Casey. Now you can probably take a, a little breather because <laughs> I know it's a lot of hard work in campaigning and campaigning. Yes. And There's been a lot of work in that, and um, and it was uh, interesting because you get to go and you get to meet a lot of new folks and really learn about your neighborhoods and communities, and that has made me realize that this is something that I really needed and wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That's you know, right. beforehand, you you have a sense of neighborhood and a sense of community, but really you get to know folks and you drive around and you think, oh, I wonder how you know Miss So and So is doing or mm -hmm. how this couple is doing, and and that's been really really wonderful. I've enjoyed that. I think more than anything. 
Very good. Mm -hmm. And I know you've always been involved in our community for a long time, Correct. just with different things. So this is not new to you. <laughs> as, um, as you can say the same thing, yeah. <laughs> which is so true. <laughs> so I am just uh, honored to have you on our show. Oh, if you would tell us what's going on in Florence. Well, we have a lot going on in Florence, especially right now. Um, we've got several things coming up Friday, including First Fridays, which is downtown. We'll I love also, First Fridays. Oh, isn't it the best? Yes. It's a wonderful community event, and this is the last one for the year. Okay. So we won't regroup again until March of next mm -hmm. year. We take January and February off. Then also Friday, we have the lighting of the city's Christmas tree in Wilson Park. That'll Very be at good. 630 if anybody wants to join us, which I would encourage them to mm -hmm. do so. And then at 6 o'clock, we have um, every light a prayer for peace at Pope's Tavern. Okay. So it's a busy night and then you know in addition to First Fridays it's the Renaissance City author and artist crawl. First time we've ever done that. Wow. So it's a busy weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but those are some of the things that are going on that folks can enjoy and come to see and do and you know you'll see a lot of different folks out and about and it's a good time to get your Christmas shopping done mm -hmm. but then you know we're there too as elected officials and mm -hmm. and that's a different hat that I'm wearing mm -hmm. in a different role that's but right it's it's fun too again that sense of community and meeting mm -hmm. others and learning um, what their needs are and it's awesome just to see the growth of First Friday. I remember Indeed. when it first started, yes. I go to a lot of them, and me and my daughter go to a lot of them. Yeah. It's really, really grown mm -hmm. with yep. uh, bands and all yeah. the, so many new shops downtown Florence. And uh, mm -hmm. it's just amazing what you all are doing. It's, it's, it's awesome. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. And so we get ready to go into 2017. It's right around the corner. I know. Christmas here, <laughs> then New Year's. What are some of the goals and are just some visions or things that you would like to, as a new elected official, mm -hmm. implement or work towards? Good question. Um, one of the things that folks in District 4 are going to see and I believe appreciate will mm -hmm. be there will be newsletters and they're probably okay. going to start out as bi-monthly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that we need to go monthly and they may be quarterly depending mm -hmm. on, but we're going to start that and that's a way to communicate differently. Obviously, I've got a Facebook page, there's a web page, there's my cell phone number, um, there's all these ways to communicate, but not everybody is hooked in electronically. Correct. So we have to keep that in mind and so I want to be able to reach all the audiences as they stand. Folks who live in District 4, we have a lot of very established neighborhoods, mm -hmm. so they might want to know when the leaf collections are mm -hmm. and when the holidays disrupt the um, garbage collection cycle. So we want to make sure we communicate those things and where folks can get information. Maybe they've always wanted to sit on a board seat for mm -hmm. the city, but they didn't know how to go about doing that. That's correct. So that information is going to be there along with specific information for District 4. Um, you know, for instance, I've learned just last week that we have a house on Chisholm that's going to be demolished. It had been declared derelict. And mm -hmm. so I'll pass that information along. That property then can be used for something else mm -hmm. that we've needed um, and we'll be getting rid of some blight. So those are good things that, yes. but explaining that to folks, you know, people who aren't in, in the know like that, they might not understand that bigger picture. Mm -hmm. So I want to help to share that so that they know where to go to ask the questions and then they feel empowered with the appropriate information. That is very good. Yeah, well, we definitely appreciate all that you do. If there are some people who are watching maybe in District 4 or just in anywhere in the show's area, we want to encourage you to get involved. As yes. she said, there are boards. Yes. If there are some people who are out there and they want to get involved, uh, maybe with the local government or something, what is probably the first step they need to do? First, I would log on to the city's website, which okay. is florenceal.org. I would mm -hmm. log on there. You can get the schedule of when the meetings are, okay. when the council meetings are. You can find out what board appointments are available. Very and good. go ahead and apply while mm -hmm. you're there. Um, you can learn about some of the different programs throughout the city. You can see the mayor's um, newsletter, which recounts all of the events that mm -hmm. we've been speaking about. So you can find your way and navigate. That's a really great place, and the city does a wonderful job of communicating that information so that individuals can read it and understand it and get to it easily. You know, not mm -hmm. every site is very intuitive, mm -hmm. but the city's is, and so that's a great place to start. Very good, very good. And mentioning the mayor, the mayor will be on our show in January, okay. so we're very excited about that, yeah. given a, a, a outlook for the 2017, so. He'll be great. Well, we appreciate that. Once again, thank you so much, Michelle Roop uh, Eubanks, for being here. Congratulations again, thank City you, Councilwoman, Nancy. District 4. Thanks, and we'll Nancy. be back after this short commercial. River Dentistry provides the most advanced dental care available in a compassionate and friendly atmosphere. 
We excel in educating our patients and ourselves about the benefits of keeping a healthy smile for a lifetime. We're proud to offer current technology, a safe, clean environment, and a highly trained staff who puts your comfort and concerns first. We look forward to helping you achieve a not only comfortable, but relaxed dental experience with superb results. Welcome back to the Better Life Show with Life Coach Casey Eggleston. Now we have on our show Miss Ruby Teeth, and what would you be singing this morning? Love from a Star by John Stoddard. Very good. So sit back and relax and enjoy the song from Miss Ruby Tiggs. Florence Nursing and Rehab Center, one of the largest in North Alabama, proudly announces the opening of The Suites, a quiet, spacious facility with all of the comforts of your home, plus the added security of 24-hour care. This 15-bed addition offers all private suites that include private restrooms with walk-in showers, carpet and hardwood flooring, kitchenettes, and a fine dining experience. Call Florence Nursing and Rehab Center, where an admissions specialist will answer your questions. Florence Nursing and Rehab Center, loving excellence in senior care. Good morning. Thank you for calling Fuller Heating, Air, and Plumbing. How may I help you today? I'm having some problem with my air conditioner. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What sort of problem? Well, it, it, it's making a clingity, clangity, clunk. <laughs> Sound. Oh, no worries. We can certainly take care of that for you. Here at Fuller Heating, Air, and Plumbing, we speak your language. 
Singing River Dentistry provides the most advanced dental care available in a compassionate and friendly atmosphere. We excel in educating our patients and ourselves about the benefits of keeping a healthy smile for a lifetime. We're proud to offer current technology, a safe, clean environment, and a highly trained staff who puts your comfort and concerns first. We look forward to helping you achieve a not only comfortable, but relaxed dental experience with superb results. And we're back with the Better Life Show with Life Coach Casey Eggleston. And next we have on our show, Melissa Bailey. She is with The Healing Place. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you. If you would, first of all, Healing Place is such a wonderful place and we appreciate all the services and things you all do for our community. Can you tell us a little about The Healing Place? Well, we've actually been in existence for 15 years. Uh, we are located in multiple shows, but we serve Colbert, Lauderdale, and Franklin counties. We do grief education, counseling, mm -hmm. and support groups to children and teens who suffered a death of someone that they, they love or someone special in their life. Um, we serve over 500 children currently. Um, and since our existence, we've served over 4,500. So. Wow, that is awesome. I know. Um, my former job when I used to do social work and uh, uh, we had several kids that we referred there and you all did an outstanding job working with those kids because um, a lot of time it's hard you know for a young person to lose their mom or their grandma and um, just need someone to talk to exactly and a lot of time they bother those up and don't you know have that person exactly um, when I was about 10 months old I lost my mom mm. um, she died of a brain aneurysm and uh, she left behind my eight-year-old sister and my three-year-old brother at the time, and it was very devastating for our family. Mm -hmm. um, it was um, devastating for my father as well. One of the things that we do at The Healing Place is that we support not only the children and the teens, but also the, the caregivers, mm -hmm. because they're often left with trying to provide that support for the children, but sometimes they're drowning in their own grief. That's true. And so um, our job at The Healing Place is to, to really ensure that the children know, the whole family know that they're not alone and that um, what they're feeling is normal. And then we provide them the coping skills and the mm -hmm. mechanisms so that they can live their life to the highest potential that they possibly can. That is so good because a lot of time after the funeral and everybody mm -hmm. comes in and be there for them that week, but then after the funeral, everybody's gone. Exactly. And uh, I know with life coaching and doing counseling, there's different stages people go through. They might start off with in denial, mm -hmm. then they might start off in grieving, That's then right. they might go to the uh, angry, different emotion, mm -hmm. emotions. So a lot of time when everybody's gone, they don't know what to do. Exactly. That's why Healing Place is such a good place because then they can later on, you know, still have somewhere to go and talk to them. Yeah. Because with a lot of kids, because if their emotions are not, mm -hmm. they don't talk to somebody, then yeah. it's going to come out in a behavior. They're going to act right. out in school or something. And um, that's why I'm, I'm so glad we have the healing place. And what we do on every week, Mondays and Thursdays, we do support groups for mm -hmm. children and teens and also for the caregivers. But we also have counselors that go out to the school. So there all the go. schools in Colbert, Lardell, and Franklin counties, mm -hmm. we, um, we go have counselors do monthly support groups there. And then, of course, sometimes the, the family's not or the children is not ready for a support group, so we do mm -hmm. offer the family and individual counseling. Very good. And um, every April, we do a day count for okay. grieving children um, and between the ages of five and 14. So we do that every April, and, um, okay. and we do that at the Cross Point Church of Christ. So, um, we, you know, it's a needed service. Not a mm -hmm. lot of people know about us, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a needed service in the community. So. Excellent. And I know you all have some upcoming events. What events do you all have coming up? Well, December 22nd, uh, Will McFarland and yes. Fathers and Sons, they are doing a, um, a release of their Christmas CD at Show's Theater. Mm -hmm. And so the proceeds from that event is going straight to the Healing Place. So we're very, good. very excited about that. It's December 22nd uh, from 7 to 8.30. Tickets are not available yet, but um, they're going to be $15 for adults and $10 for 12 and under. Okay. And also, what are some tips or suggestions you give? Maybe somebody in our audience is going through grief or just lost their mom. I know the holidays yes. a lot of time are hard for people it because is. they lost a mom or, or grandma, especially like grandmoms that where everybody goes mm -hmm. you know, during the holidays. Or it could be a young person. Mm -hmm. What are some tips or suggestions y'all give to? The first thing we tell them is 
if you don't feel like going, if you don't feel like doing, it is okay. Mm -hmm. You do not have to just go make an appearance if you're not feeling up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to, you know, uh, honor how you feel mm -hmm. and, and, and not so much worry about how others feel. Um, another thing that we say is accept those limitations. Don't feel guilty because you don't feel like having this huge, lighting the Christmas tree with some big thing you did after Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. if you don't feel like doing it, you do not have to do that. That mm -hmm. is perfectly okay. We also say, cherish those memories. Yes. You know, um, if, if one of the biggest things for me growing up was my, with my mom is that we didn't really talk about the things that she loved to do. Mm -hmm. Her favorite uh, Christmas song, um, her favorite Christmas movie, that kind of thing. But when you share those memories, it's comfort. It's like that yes. love is there. Mm -hmm. And even though physically they're not there, but spiritually they are. That's right. And so um, that's what we encourage mm -hmm. um, our, our, our children and teens mm -hmm. and families and to do during the holidays. That's very good. I know a lot of times when I go into schools after someone has passed or mm -hmm. something, when we work with the young people, we tell them, okay, I have them share with me some of the memories yes. or a fun, funny moment. I've had kids to share about something maybe a teacher did or maybe a coach or something did. And I said, hold on to that memory exactly. because they, it made them smile and laugh. And I said, okay, that no one can ever take from That's you. Right. So hold on to, you know, to those memories. Yes. Is there anything else going on at Healing Place? Anything you would like to share? Well, um, I'm surprised uh, Michelle didn't mention this, but uh, Court Street Market, they're having their holiday market um, this weekend actually December 2nd through the 4th and so the Court Street Market has actually uh, kind of adopted us the healing place for that weekend and so Very we're good. asking we have a wish list on our website it's called the healing place and um, we're asking people to donate just simple things like paper towels and Kleenex and um, paper mm -hmm. you know all the regular office supplies that kind of you know mm -hmm. Um, can be kind of a burden on the budget, but community can help with. So. Very good. Well, once again, we appreciate all that you all do. And if someone needs to get in touch with you all, they go to the website or how? You, how? They, they can go to our website, thehealingplaceinfo.org, or they can go, they can just call us, 256-383-7133. But once again, thank you for being on the Battle thank Life you Show. For and me. Thank you for all your all services. Thank you. And we'll be back for a short message after this commercial. And we're back with the Better Life Show. We want to thank uh, all our guests, uh, pe and people that were here today. And we hope that you have enjoyed this show. But we want to encourage you uh, during the holidays, as we was talking early, be encouraged. I know a lot of times, sometimes it's hard uh, when you miss someone or a loved one. But we want to know that we are here for you all at a Better Life Show. And hopefully that something here was said today that would encourage you. Also, if you're going through or you need it, a lot of times during Christmas, people are looking for Christmas items. I do want to invite you out on December the 18th, Sunday, December the 18th at New Birth Ministries. They do that Do It For The Vine Christmas giveaway. They give away bicycle, toys, TVs, um, all types of stuff, toys for the kids, the house appliances and stuff. And it is at 10 o'clock at New Birth Ministries uh, where the pastor is Robert Turner Jr. Uh, that's the church that I attend. And every year it is always packed and we give away thousands of dollars worth of Christmas events. So please come out. If you know someone who is in need of a Christmas gift or might not get a gift this year, we would like to invite them to New Birth Ministries December 18th at 10 a.m. That's 225 South Spur Street in Florence where they can receive a Christmas gift. Once again, thank you so much for supporting us. Uh, in 2017, we'll be having also some offers for commercials or different things with our show, our sponsorships. So stay tuned for more information on that. And once again, thank you for tuning in to A Better Life with Life Coach Casey Eggleston. Singing River Dentistry provides the most advanced dental care available in a compassionate and friendly atmosphere. We excel in educating our patients and ourselves about the benefits of keeping a healthy smile for a lifetime. We're proud to offer current technology, a safe, clean environment, and a highly trained staff who puts your comfort and concerns first. We look forward to helping you achieve a not only comfortable but relaxed dental experience with superb results.